A long-standing San Diego state tradition is being reimagined this homecoming season for a new generation of Aztecs. New State's Dana Marie McNichol is at Coles Mountain where the tradition started 90 years ago. For San Diego State students 50 years ago, Coles Mountain was the perfect billboard to advertise Aztec pride. Students would climb up, create a massive S in rocks that could be seen for miles. Today, the tradition doesn't stand, but the legacy continues. It all started with this group of students. They brought the idea to President Hardy, and he loved it. So on February 27, 1931, 500 students trekked up Coles Mountain. Clear all the brush, clear all the rocks, arrange the rocks in this giant 400 foot S. Um, and that's the start of it. SDSU historian Seth Maillo says just about everyone mispronounces the mountain. The correct way to say it is Coles Mountain. Maintaining the S became an important campus tradition. Students would carry up heavy bags of lime and paint it onto the rocks. You know, they took it as, as a huge achievement. Wooden panels were built to keep the S in place throughout the years until the spring of 1942 when it was covered up. The city is so worried that the Japanese will be able to triangulate off of that symbol and drop bombs on San Diego. Once World War II was over, the tradition was back alive. In 50s, 60s, it's all the rage. I mean, this is, this is not an unofficial part of orientation. It's actually on people's calendars as an official orientation event. Coles Mountain is the highest point in the area, and this hike definitely isn't an easy one. Environmentalists in the 70s squashed the tradition because they wanted to preserve this beautiful area. It's a sensitive biological habitat. Today, San Diego State students still celebrate homecoming and honor the S in a similar way, visible in different locations on campus this week. We genuinely have two freshman classes because last year's freshmen didn't really get to be on campus for all the fun. I've never seen such excitement across the campus and at all of our events. Dana Marie McNichol, News 8.